13 Ways to Revive Your Dead or Dying Plant You've probably got a dead plant on your hands if you've come to see this video. No worries. A plant that appears to be dead often, has some life left in it, and will almost mysteriously begin to grow again, if given the proper care. Overwatering or underwatering, not getting enough sun, changes in the environment, bugs and pests, or nutrient deficiencies are some of the most prevalent reasons for a plant's demise. All of these issues can be resolved if you patch them early enough. These simple hacks and methods can help you restore your plant to its former glory and gain the health back. 1. First look if your plant is actually dead. Look for indications of vitality in the stems and roots. The roots should be greenish on the inside and the leaves should be flexible and strong. Don't give up on your plant simply because it has turned brown and lost some leaves. 2. Remove any dead foliage. 3. Check out whether you've overwatered your plants. In case of overwatering and damp soil, overwatered plants will have brown or yellow with the leaves. 4. Check if your plants are thirsty. What are the symptoms that a plant is thirsty? The plant will begin to wilt as a result of the lack of water. The tips of the leaves will begin to dry up and brown, and the leaves will eventually turn brown, die, and fall. If the topsoil is dry, compacted, and cracked, it is most likely due to a lack of water. If you catch this type of damage early enough, it can be repaired fast. Dry plants are simple to rehydrate. Allowing a plant to soak in water for a few hours will quickly recover it if it has been severely underwatered. With this strategy, many plants can transform from droopy and miserable to gorgeous, healthy, and cheerful in just one day. On regular basis, fill the plant's pot with water until the drainage holes are clear. After that, hose will spray any residual stems or foliage down. Plants take in water through both their leaves and roots. Repeat this for a week or so to see the changes. 5. Adjust the sun food. A plant that hasn't received enough sunshine will have pale leaves and weak stems. 6. Check to see if your plant requires extra humidity. If your plant is native to the tropics, it may be dying to return to its natural habitat. Although the quantity of humidity required by a plant varies, there are several signs that it may require more moisture in the air. If the humidity level is too low, the plant will begin to shrivel, brown and wilt. Ferns, for example, require humidity to thrive, something the normal living room may lack. This is a simple problem to tackle. Transfer your plant to a more humid spot away from the sun. 7. Additional nutrition should be provided. Weak stems and discolored leaves indicate malnutrition, so you'll need compost or fertilizer to resuscitate a dying plant. 8. Consider repotting your plants. Most plants outgrow their pots over time. A simple repotting can sometimes be all that is required to bring a dying plant back to life. A larger container with well-drained and healthy soil can work wonders for your plant and help it to thrive. 9. Give your plants filtered water. Impurities in water, such as chloride and fluoride, have a negative impact on plant health in many circumstances. Bamboo is one such example, chlorine-laced water can actually destroy a bamboo plant. 
Install a rainwater collection tank and use the water to water your plants. Or use from other healthy sources. 10. Getting rid of insects and diseases. Look for pest symptoms like irregular growth, curled up leaves, or discolored leaves with holes. To get rid of most bugs, mix a mild soap solution with water. If you fear your plant has succumbed to disease, see a plant expert to identify the problem and learn how to treat it. Powdery mildew, root rot, and leaf spot are examples of diseases. Keep the plant isolated from the rest of your garden to prevent the pest or disease from spreading. 11. Change soil of your plants. Plants use up a lot of the nutrients and organic matter in their soil at the time. The soil becomes impoverished and hard, and it loses its ability to store water and minerals. You'll need to repot your indoor plants with fresh and nutrient-rich soil to keep them healthy. Potting soil can be found in any garden center or nursery. 12. At the very least, wait a month. But keep in mind that it took a long time to nearly kill your plant, and it will take much longer to nurse it back to health. Don't give up too soon after taking steps to revive a dying plant, it can take up to a month to observe an improvement or a new growth. 13. Compost it as you let your plant go. Place your dead plant in a compost bin instead of throwing it away. Even if your plants have died, you can compost their remains to generate nutrient-rich soil that can be used to fertilize future houseplants or your garden. That means your dead plant can resurrect, helping both the health of your future plants and the environment. Plant resurrection isn't always successful, especially when the situation has gotten out of hand. However, this does not rule out the possibility of reviving plants that appear to be dead. It never hurts to give it a shot. Before it's too late, you could just have what it takes to bring dead plants back to life. Let us know if these tips and hacks help you out. Thanks for watching.